I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're going to talk all about curly hair types. There are so many different types of curl patterns out there that someone decided to classify them so we know exactly what type of hair we're working with. Now it's really good to know the curl type that you have, that way it'll help you know what type of products will work best for your hair and the type of maintenance that your curls require. Now although the curl type is important, there are many different factors that make up the type of curl that you have. So just because someone has the same curl type as you, they might have a different density, different porosity, and a different length. All different things to think about when classifying a curl. Now I won't be able to go over all of those today because that's a lot to explain. You guys might get confused and I don't really like 20 minute videos. So today I'm gonna focus just on the curly hair types. So that being said, let's get started. Now there are a total of four types of hair, type one, type two, type three, and type four. And then those are then broken down into subcategories of A, B, or C. Now before I start off with the types of curls, I do want to just mention that the type one hair would be straight hair. So if your hair is just completely straight, there's not any curl or any waves, just completely straight down, you would have type one hair. Now let's move on to a type two hair. If you have type two hair, which means you have wavy hair. Within this wavy category, there's 2A, 2B, and 2C. Now here's a picture or a graph that I got from naturallycurly.com, which is this amazing curl website that really breaks down everything that you need to know, so I definitely recommend that website. I will put it down below. But in this chart, you will see that there is a girl with 2A, 2B, and 2C hair. 2A is the least waviest of the three, and it really starts to lack the definition, but does have a little bit more of a pattern to it more than straight hair. 2B has more waves than 2A, and you really start to see that S shape really come through. And 2C, which is the waviest of them all, and you start to see that S actually turn into a curl sometimes. So that is the really defined wavy hair. When it comes to styling wavy hair, it is best to apply the product and then scrunch it into your hair, and that way you will get as many waves as possible. So the scrunching motion is key. Now let's move on to type three. Type three is the curly hair. Type 3A, 3B, and 3C. Now in this chart you see that 3A still has some wavy curls, but they definitely are more defined than a 2C type of hair. You also will see more volume if you have 3A hair. So if you have curls that are still pretty loose, but they are starting to like make ringlets, then that would be your category. Now that we're talking about the 3B going in the 3C category, that is where I would fall. When I get out the shower, my hair looks exactly like that girl where it looks exactly like a 3B hair. But then once it dries up, especially on day two, it now is looking more of a 3C type hair. So sometimes you can have different combination hair, but just so you kind of get a rough estimate, at least know if you're type one, two, three, or four. Once you get to the 3B category, you will see more of these spiral shaped curls, like the real curls are popping in 3B. And once you get to 3C, you get the really tight corkscrew type ones. And that I think would be what I have here now. It's really, really wound up. And I would say that I could easily fit a pencil right through here. So that would be like the circumference shape of my curls. Now let's move on to category four. This is the tightest, most coarse type category. So if you have a kinkier curl or it's more of a coil type curl, this would be the category for you. If you are a type four curl, you have a much tighter and more coarse type curly hair. If you see in 4B, instead of having the S shape, you have more of a Z type of zigzag type curl pattern. And then in 4C, you don't really have a defined curl pattern, but it's like the thickest one and your curls are so tight that you can't even really see loops anymore. Now I will say type four is known to be the hardest hair to manage because of the tight texture of your hair. And it's also the type of hair that needs the most moisturizing as well. Type four hair is also the type that deals with the most shrinkage. When I see girls that have type four hair actually pull down the real length of their hair, I'm always like, dang, that is shrinkage. Type four hair is also the texture that you would see when someone has an afro. Technically it's made of a whole bunch of really, really, really tiny curls, but then those curls are then different than this curl. And this is really important to know when it comes to curl products and even for me as a vlogger for reviewing products because just because the products work for me and my hair, if you have a different type hair than me, you might not get the same exact result. 
Each curl type has its different needs. For example, type four needs more moisturizer using things like creams and butters are really important to really get the moisture into type four hair. Where if you have type two hair, it's more wavy and those creams might be too much for your hair. Now your hair is going to be greasy, so you want to use lightweight type products. These are all very important factors to keep in mind when choosing products for your curly hair type. Now, if you already know your curl type and you just want to watch the video to make sure, I want you to now leave a comment with your curl type, say I'm curl type, whatever, so people can see it right at the top. And then I want you to leave your top tips for someone with that type of hair type. So if you have type four hair, maybe you could put the most important thing to keep in mind with type four hair. Or if you have wavy hair, put the most important thing for girls with wavy hair. That way, this whole comment list could be full of vital information for all curl types. So that is all I have for the curly hair science for today. I ask you guys, please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I post new curly videos every Sunday. So if you wanna know more about curly hair types or porosity or density or curly hair products, you gotta hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because there will be new videos every week. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.